Bees, they may seem small and insignificant, but bees are not only vital to us, but a vast range of plants and animals. These little creatures play a major role in the world economy and the pollination process. But something, we don't know what, but something is happening to them. Bees are disappearing. This is the colony collapse disorder. Bees do many things for us. They pollinate not only for our own economy, but for the plants too. According to the BBC, one third of our food requires pollination and bees play a major role in this process. They pollinate over 70 types of crop. Each colony can pollinate an average of 4,000 meter squares of fruit trees and make an average of 40 kilograms of honey. In total, they make about 6,000 tons of honey and contribute to 400 million euros, which is 530 million US dollars to the global economy. Bees are very precious both to us and the ecosystem. Unfortunately, they are disappearing at alarming rates. In the winter of 2006, beekeepers all across the US reported a major loss of their bees. They vanished. CCD has struck. Beekeepers reported a loss of 30 to 90% of the bees in beehives. No dead bees were around, which indicates that the bees did not die, but left. The Environmental Protection Agency says that there were abundant amounts of pollen and honey, so the motive of leading the colony is unclear. There are many suspicious causes of CCD, like changing habitats or the cause of the few emerging diseases, but some have been ruled out like the pesky varroa mites, as they were a big problem to the bees. There are many possibilities to the cause, from normal immune suppressing to the Russians using satellites to steal the bees, which personally I think is highly improbable. But one that is very probable is pesticides, more specifically neonicotinoids. According to the Harvard School of Public Health, neonicotinoids can trigger some sort of biological mechanism, causing the bees to disappear. IEPV and other pathogens can be another possibility, but it cannot be ruled out or reinforced either. But now, scientists are doing their best against the unknown cause of CCD. Scientists are now doing their best to find a cause of CCD. If we run out of time, it does not only affect us, but it also affects the entire ecosystem, as bees were vital to many plants' pollination. Scientists are already working on many solutions, even though they did not find a definite cause. Some scientists are trying to fend off varroa mites from bees. Some parts of Europe are banning the use of pesticides, but we as normal people can do something too. We can stop using pesticides, sure, but personally, I think we can, the most we can do is to spread the news and support the organizations working on CCD. Before this project, I had no idea CCD even existed. I hope that people would be more aware about how serious this is. CCD is a large scale problem because if we lose our bees, it is a major blow to our food industry. According to David Hackenberg, the first beekeeper to announce CCD to the world, says that bees are indicator species, meaning if the bees are leaving, something bad is happening to the world. I hope people can take this seriously. CCD is still a mystery, but I hope it won't be much longer.